Good afternoon. I'm Brigadier General Kenyon Bell, and I'm here once again with our Command Chief, Chief Master Sergeant Dina Mosley. And we're excited to bring you once again Shepherd Speaks. And today we're back at one of the places where we started early on, back in the F-22 location. We did. We are coming to you from the F-22 Maintenance Training Center. And we're excited to be here with um, our folks today. This $21 million facility was completed back in 2007. And it's utilized by four different squadrons right here at Shepherd Air Force Base as they train our maintainers to work on this amazing aircraft. This facility is almost three football fields long, training up many of our Air Force specialty codes. Everything from uh, avionics technicians, propulsion technicians, our egress folks, crew chiefs, fuel systems, there is almost no specialty that does not come through this, uh, this particular facility. But today we're spending time with our armament technicians out of the 363rd Training Squadron. Yes, our armament specialists are responsible for a huge variety of weapon systems on our aircraft. They are responsible particularly for the safe handling, preparation, and the loading of our weapon systems. They have to make sure that when our pilots are ready to deploy bombs, missiles, uh, all kinds of uh, different things that they handle downrange, that not only they are working properly, but that they hit the intended target. And to get us started today, after we have a chance to spend some time with them, we're going to hear from an instructor as well as a student. And our instructor today is going to be Technical Sergeant Robert Adams, who hails from Massachusetts. And our student is going to be Airman First Class Chester Hall. And he comes to us from Los Angeles, California. They're excited about what they do in the career field, and we're going to hear from them, and then we'll come back and close things out. Before I came into armament, I kind of just realized it was one of those iconic Air Force jobs, actually putting missiles on a plane, seeing them fly off, being on a like a runway instead of you know stuck in an office. But before that, I knew it was a maintainer kind of job. It was going to be hard work, but it's also gratifying. And Raptors are interesting. It is definitely a job that I'm proud of. It's, I think, I wanted to do a lot of different other jobs in the Air Force. I had a lot of different ideas in mind, but when I actually have something. Like if you're doing something physical, like sort of labor driven, you actually get to see the fruit of your efforts and the end result of everything. With armament, you definitely have that along with you and you get to learn, you get to master your job. And every day, it's, it's different. It's not the same sort of mundane work. Armament is weapons. So we're dealing with weapons, uh, loading, bombs and missiles, as well as the maintenance on the weapon system. I've been an instructor here since 2016. I've been teaching fundamentals, F-22s and F-35s. So they arrive here out of basic military training, they come through some in-processing, and they go over to Building 1045, which is the fundamental section. They go through 18 academic days of four blocks. Once they get done with four blocks, their fundamentals portion, they come to the floor. So that's when they disperse to whatever aircraft they're assigned to. Over at this building, we teach the F-22 um, aircraft, and they go through seven other blocks until they graduate. You know, Chief, the F-22 is an amazing aircraft, so their opportunity to be able to load up this aircraft and allow it to go and do its combat-capable capab mission is going to be significant as they head out into the field. Now that we have been through several of our schoolhouses, you can kind of see how things are coming together. We have multiple specialties that go into making combat capability happen, from the munitions technicians that put bombs together and build bombs and then deliver it to the flight line where the aircraft are, with our crew chief technicians, fuel, hydraulics, all of those technicians that are making the aircraft work. And then today we see that the armament technicians take those bombs and that payload coming out from the bomb dump and then load it up onto the aircraft putting the bite into these aircraft. <laughs> Indeed they do. So here at the 363rd Training Squadron, they don't only train armament specialists to support the F-22, but really they touch every combat aircraft that we have in our Air Force inventory, from the F-35 to the B-52 and everything in between. Right here, it starts at Shepard. That's right, it all does start right here at Shepard. And when we launch these technicians out into the operational Air Force, and we see how all of their specialties come together out on a flight line somewhere. It comes together in a very synchronized manner, allowing for that music that we love to hear, which is the sound of freedom. So today we're really excited uh, to be able to spend some time with our armament technicians. We want to thank the amazing leadership team here in the 363rd, the Squadron Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Jim Olson, and the Squadron Chief, Squadron Superintendent, Chief Master Sergeant Mike Barney. And it's important to note that by the time this airs, there will have been a change of command here in the 363rd Training Squadron. And so we welcome 
Lieutenant Colonel Eric Markov, the new squadron commander, and the new squadron superintendent, Chief Master Sergeant Jason Roth. So thank you very much for spending some time with us today. Join us here in a couple of weeks. We're gonna take a little break next week uh, for the 4th of July, and then we'll be back with more of Shepherd Speaks.